A man not new to the NSSF corridors. Once the fund's furnace head, Patrick Iota has come to steady the sheep at a time when the Ugandan economy is facing headwinds. So we are going to make sure that now we get involved in the informal sector in agriculture because that's where the majority of the Ugandans are and where we can find them. We want to do that and make sure that the engagement rate, the success rate of our staff remains at 95%. Customers 95 percent, and of our stakeholders 95 percent. It calls. It's a very, very high level of expectation we put on our customers and our staff. We believe when we do that, then we'll get to 2035. We'll get to 50 trillion shillings. A new team familiar with the tough terrain ahead will draw confidence from an excellent track record in performance, having posted positive results in June 2023. We had a target of collecting 132 billion shillings per month. That is our target, monthly target last year. The six months ending December 2022 were behind the year-to-date budget by about 51 billion shillings. The six months following, that's January 2023 to June 2023, in the midst of the turbulence, the hearing, contributions went up, 148, 150, by the time we ended up in June, June itself we collected 192 billion shillings. By the time we ended June, on a year-to-date basis for that year, we had exceeded our targets by 110 billion shillings. The two accountants with Hive have to keep an ear next door, such as Kenya, home to investments of the fund's assets held in regional bonds and equities. The Nairobi Securities Exchange, East Africa's biggest bonds, for instance, was hit by a 30-year law in March as investors cashed out, citing escalating global risks. July 2022 to the end of June 2023, it was down by almost 15%. That is if you take it in, um, in Kenya shillings. But actually the currency was down by 22%. Essentially the Uganda shilling appreciated against the Kenya shilling by over 22%. And obviously that means that we took uh, losses on the Nairobi side. But the way that is mitigated is by diversification. Uh, on the contrary, we saw that uh, the Tanzanian market performed much better and we have some good stocks. But even when you look at the performance of our stocks that we hold as the fund compared to the entire market, while the market was almost over, I mean down by over 20 percent, if you take into account the market itself and the currency, our loss was not more than 10 percent. It is actually around 6 percent. So that for me is evidence to the stock the good stock picking ability that the team has been you know uh, undertaking the nssf invests mainly in three asset classes fixed income equities or listed and unlisted and real estate and will announce new interest by the end of september 2023 malcolm sime ntv tonight